Good afternoon, good morning. This is Colonel Hawk, uh, 480th ISO Wing Commander. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the issues that came out in the Culture and Process Improvement Program for Air Force DCGS. Uh, one of the consistent themes that came in for many of our airmen was the concept of DGSES. So I wanted to talk about that history, which at one time within our weapon system, it was very common for us to, to take on new requirements consistently. As we grew as a weapon system and the demand across our Air Force for ISR, there were many times when this wing was, was asked to accept new mission without additional resources. Uh, one of the many benefits we've received as part of the 25th Air Force stand-up in the Move Under Air Combat Command was a change in this approach. General Carlisle has solidified the demand for our weapon system, so much so that we have not accepted any new missions in the, in the last year so that we could stabilize our shift schedules and allow your groups to be able to do things like the new GEOINT work schedule across our wing. The only new mission that we've accepted over the last year was a short-term add of the sensor pacer mission because one of our sister wings needed an assist as they transition that mission. There's, also, there's already a sunset date for that mission, which would allow us to be able to reincorporate those airmen that have been working sensor pacer back into our weapon system manning. We recognize that, that while there are a number of benefits that we've, we've seen based off this change in, in our posture of our weapon system that many of our airmen on the SIGINT side haven't realized that benefit yet. So while our GEO and airmen are now on new shift schedules that has reduced them from a surge footing to a steady state, we want to be able to do the same thing for our SIGINT, for our SIGINT airmen. Right now we're currently limited by the architecture and that is the number one priority for the CPIP and for ACCA5 to modernize our SIGINT architecture and join the National Cryptologic Enterprise to give us that flexibility. But what we are doing and what your leadership is doing is trying to stabilize our SIGINT crews so that we know when you know when you need to be at work and, and we will do everything possible to be able to realize the same gains. But what I want to dispel is the idea that, that ACC will accept additional tasks into this weapon system without a trade-off. We have seen a number of new requirements come to our weapon system and each time Air Combat Command has said we are at capacity, how would we want to trade off those capabilities to make sure we're meeting the highest priority requirements for our supported commanders. So what our job is every day is to be great at what we do, to be able to produce the best intelligence per sortie that we can possibly, we are possibly able to execute, and I'm proud of the work that you do every day. So we are not saying no to combatant commanders, what we're doing is saying we are all in, and this is the amount of capacity we have and we'll prioritize what missions we do. I'm proud of the work you do every day, thanks for your contributions to your nation, and to each other. Thanks for being great airmen.